Hello friends, welcome to Chidre's Tech Tutorials educational YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Intro to Collision Detection in Unity. Collision Detection in Unity deals with detecting whether two game objects colliders are colliding with each other and calling the appropriate event method based on the type of colliders participating in the collision and the status of the collision. Collision detection deals with detecting whether two game objects colliders are colliding with each other and calling the appropriate event method based on the type of colliders participating in the collision and the status of the collision. There are two types of collisions, collider collision, trigger collision. Collider collision where colliders participate in the collision, whereas trigger collision where trigger participates in the collision. Collider collision where colliders participate in the collision whereas trigger collision where a trigger participates in the collision. To handle collider collision, on collision event methods are used. To handle trigger collision, on trigger event methods are used. Here I have the configuration for on collision event methods to be called. On collision event methods are called if a static collider collides with rigid body collider. If a rigid body collider collides with static collider or a rigid body collider collides with other rigid body collider or a rigid body collider collides with other kinematic rigid body collider or a kinematic rigid body collider collides with other rigid body collider guys. In other cases, on collision event methods are not called. Wherever you see Y, Y indicates that on collision event methods are called if these type of colliders participate in the collision guys. Next, I have configuration for on trigger event methods to be called. On trigger event methods are called if these type of colliders participate in the collision guys. Wherever you see why, that indicates that type of colliders must participate in the collision then only on trigger event methods are called. On trigger event methods are not called in these configuration as well as on trigger event methods are not called when a static collider collides with static trigger or a static trigger collides with a static collider or a static trigger collides with other static trigger. Understanding? So you people need to understand these two configuration tables and try to remember them. Okay, try to remember them guys. If you understand and try to remember these tables, you can easily handle collisions via coding guys. Next we have three status of collision. Enter, stay, exit. There are three status of collision. Enter, stay, exit. Collision status between two game objects is set to enter status as soon as a collider or a trigger begins touching the other collider or a trigger. Collision status between two game objects is set to stay status as long as the collider or a trigger is touching the other collider or a trigger. Collision status between two game objects is set to exit status as soon as a collider or a trigger ends touching the other collider or a trigger guys. You have to understand here. As soon as the collider or a trigger begins touching the other collider or a trigger, okay, then Collision status between two game objects is set to enter. As soon as the collider or a trigger ends touching the other collider or a trigger, in that case collision status between two game objects is set to exit status. As long as the collider or a trigger is touching the other collider or a trigger, then collision status between two game objects is set to stay status guys. If collision status between two game objects is set to enter status, then on collision enter or on trigger enter collision event methods are called depending upon the type of colliders participating in the collision guys. It depends upon which type of colliders participating in the collision. If collision status between two game objects is set to stay status then on collision stay event method or on trigger stay event method will be called. Again it depends upon the type of colliders participating in the collision. If collision status between two game objects is set to exit status then on collision exit or on trigger exit event methods are called. It depends upon what type of colliders participating in the collision guys. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I suggest you people to watch this video one or two times. 
try to understand everything clearly and try to remember the configuration tables for on collision event methods to be called and on trigger event methods to be called as well as remember these event methods and the status of collision if you like this video hit the like button and uh, share with your friend so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about unity for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep gaming keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.